Well, got other uh, shit going on. Uh, okay, injuries, go Dave. Um, that was the thing of the weekend. The Tua injury when we were on the air the other night with uh, Aaron from Brutally on Sports. We were talking about Tua uh, as as he went down. We didn't know the extent of it. We knew it was bad. Uh, got out of the hospital that night. Went back down to Miami just in time for a hurricane that was happening down there and everything else. But... Um, that was the talk all over everywhere on Sunday morning was the Tua injury, the concussion protocols, and blah, 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 blah. The the uh, the scapegoat got fired, the, the concussion protocol guy who's a, a third-party guy not hired by either team. or He was hired by the league. He got let go. Um, everything else is still status quo. Uh, first off, I don't think Tua should play again this year. He's made $25 million in his career already. From what I read, his career earnings are he's only a couple years in the league. Um, coming from Alabama, he's an injury-prone guy. He did get hurt in, in school. Um, man, oh, man, that was scary the other night. And the way that the NFL, I think, I think, I could be wrong. You, I know you're going to correct me if, from what, what you think. I think that the NFL just turned their head on this thing and were, was was hoping it would go away because these players are replaceable. The NFL is so big. But I think that people are actually putting their, crossing their arms and stamping their feet a little bit and saying, hey, man, you guys got to start doing something here. Um, For now, it's the same. The NFL doesn't care. They they don't care. They, they, got like, they, uh, they speak with their their pockets, and and they're not. They they've proven to shown to dig their heels in on 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 post career life of these players. It's look it up. Um, I don't understand. Like in in NHL, they have a, a an individual who is not affiliated with anybody. Like he's just that's his job. He's a spotter. And if he thinks anyone on either team during the course of play is wobbly, he buzzes down and that person goes into concussion pro- protocol. That's how it works in the NHL, yes? In a roundabout sort of way, yeah, pretty much, yeah. They don't – obviously, they don't have that for the for the NFL because if these teams are self-policing, they're not self-policing. They're clearly looking the other way. Well, they have that – they they, they have a third-party guy as well and they take him in that little tent and then they – some bullshit thing because there's no way there's no way that you'd have enough players to finish a game if the protocols were as strict as they are in hockey because no. that the amount of headshots that they that the, these guys take every time that something happens in a, on a football field every time the ball's put into play it's there's head to head contact. No, I, I agree with that. I, no, and like and once I, like I agree with that, but we're ta- I'm talking now about the two uh, back issues on Sunday, not this last one. Right, the if the, if the, the team one was from four from the, past this past Sunday, yeah, I right. see, I, like, I don't I, I think that there I don't think he left the field. No, that's that's my point. Like, how can how can he not come out for at least you know a set of downs? Like, it's 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 concerning. Yeah, I and mean, then as a player, as two of myself, I would be concerned. This team, you know, I'm playing to win and and this and that, and I get it. But at, at at what cost? And then and then hopefully this is a wake up call for him. Like, I, well, I guess you can't pull yourself out. But like for his team, and and I got some thoughts on that. Like, I don't know where we are in this conversation, but it, it happened again with that Cam Brait on Tampa Bay. He was woozy as shit and didn't miss it down. I know I'm. You can't tell a guy who this all they've ever done. Like, you, you it's hard to tell a guy that you have to sit down you, you, you can't go win one for your team you got to go sit down because your brain's been been scrambled and that, that's not just a football thing thing that, that that's a sport thing that if a guy is injured whether it be a concussion whether it be a, a hamstring whether it be this or that guys are going to continue to try to play like you're not you aren't going to change because that's how these these guys get to this level they they become warriors per se and they're and they're alpha males and all like like, the term that you used before here on on the show but you eventually somebody has to start looking after these guys and say you can't play because the your football life is so much shorter than the rest of your life and you you could have all the money in the world but if you're if you're a vegetable you can't walk you can't do whatever what what good is all that money it might pay for better. It might pay for better healthcare, I guess, and everything else. But it, it, 
it's it's tough in that sense, Dave, where you have these guys who do get hurt and want to play, and then you have you have the teams who want you to win, you have the fans who want you to win, you have coaches whose jobs depend on it that these guys stay in the game. So at what point do the players, like you said, at what point does Tua say, I can't fucking play, man. My brain scrambled, my this or that, because he wants to play forever, but now he might not play at all. So there's a fine, like there's a, I get it. So who's to blame here? Is it the league? Is it the players? Is it the, is it the game itself? Like who, who is it the league for having these short weeks when, you know, all of a sudden it's a, it's a, it's a, thir- it's a Sunday, the Thursday game. I think that's ridiculous. I, th- I don't think that should be a thing in the National Football League. It's it's too quick of a turnaround. Your body can't recuperate. That's I think that's one thing that's got to be changed. They got to get rid of that, that get rid of that one Thursday game. What people are going to watch regardless whatever day the fucking games on. Yes, Amazon paid them a billion dollars or whatever it was, but that's something. Player safety has to become more more of a priority to these teams and to these owners because players, yes, they're disposable. We've talked about that a lot. And I think the players are so disposable in in the NFL, much more so than the other sports. I really believe that. I think that they really, really, for the first thing that's got to happen is the next time they go to the bargaining agreement is say, we can't have these Thursday games. We can't. Um, Won't happen, won't happen, won't happen, won't happen, won't happen. All that stuff, you know, I, I, because it, it has been brought up, and the owners just throw a little bit more money at it, and the NHL, uh, sorry, the and the PA acquiesces. They, they, uh, let's make a couple more bucks. Um, topping up um, uh, retirement funds, they always balk. Medical care after thing, it, it never stops. Like the only reason it would stop is if they stop making ridiculous amount of money. And that isn't stopping. So here's my solution. I did come with a solution. If I am uh, like signing my second contract, as this particular, it, like the stars have to lead it. Like every league is a star different, star driven league, and and these are the eyeballs you want. If I'm say now, say I'm Russell Wilson. Okay, um, when I sign this deal with Denver, I could make. $34 million a year, but I'm only going to take $30 million a year, and we have an agreed-upon spotter for me. If that shit happens with me, this doctor gives the clearance. Not the team doctor, not the league doctor, not the NSG. Take responsibility for yourself and, and, and put it underneath insurance. Like, that's what that's how they... The insurance companies are always the ones A, collecting ridiculous um, amounts of uh, premiums, and they're the if they're the last ones that want to sign this check to end a career, mm-hmm. Put, tie it to the insurance companies, and then see who. Um, and then you're responsible for the insurance policy, the guarantee on this. Not like you have to make it money, and then if it's if it's about money, and then if it's, and then so what happens if this doctor who you have to agree upon and is qualified? It's not my mom, for God's sake. It's yeah. it's it's someone who knows what they're doing. Um, they got final say, and then okay, I um only pay me eighty percent for that game, something like that. Because like, what's what's forty million or sorry, thirty five million dollars a game, or thirty million dollars a game, and you got someone with your best interests watching to make sure you go don't go out and pancake yourself. Yeah, like it, it's so it's so insane like the money that can be there for these guys and the, and the 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 money that's made for the team and for the league. I don't I can't remember the name of the coach for for Miami. He's a newer guy. He's like he's kind of dorky looking, kind of goofy. McDaniel. He's a kind of a goofy goofy looking fellow revenge of the nerds kind of a guy. A simple question I saw I'm, I'm not this isn't a branch original by any means, but it made a lot of sense. If it was his son that was screwed up like Tua was that Sunday, would he have left, let his own son continue to play football during that game? Pretty simple question. If that's your relative, your son, your boy, and you're the coach of your of your son's team, are you letting him finish that game? Probably not. Yeah. Probably I, not. Right? It's, I so, agree. 
So wh where does it end, man? Like, where does it stop? And Tua's got to take the responsibility, too. He, he has to. I get it. You want to keep playing. But he agreed to play. Like, he agreed to. He didn't say, I don't know what the conversation was from from Sunday night when that game finished. Till, cause that, he got hurt early on, on, on Thursday. So in in that forty eight yeah. hour or, or ninety six hours or it was, you, you don't you can't even count Sunday night. You, you get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday they're traveling, so there wasn't a whole bunch of time. Tua could have said, "I I can't play." Right, I can't play. The league is violent. We talked we talked about that. We talked about this all the time. So all of those things put together cause the situation that Tua's in right now, and this guy might not play football again. Yeah, and that sack had nothing to do with um, his physical ability on the on the play right there. That's just something that happens in football. But to have once again that person to say, you know, you you got you first. We have to recognize a you did have some head trauma in that game. It wasn't a back like we ha ha we got away with it. But if it happens again this game. You know, it, it can have some effects. And who knows what kind of effects. Like, if, if it has serious long-term effects, I got to think they wouldn't release him to fly home with his team that Well, night. what's messed up, Dave, is today's, well, old, today's what, Monday? And he's already out for next week, right? Yeah. They've already de declared him not eligible, or he's a player and able to play list or whatever they, you, you guys, you, they call it there. So he's already done. Yeah. So why wasn't that done the week before? Yeah, you know, and what's the reason? Like it just seems like, a bit because all the eyeballs are on it now, and then they fire uh -huh. they fire the doctor. They said you you this guy did this guy was inadequate doing his job, so they they did everything but, and it was pretty much the scapegoat guy got got shit canned. We're, we'll never know who that what that guy's name even is. Right. He's, in, he's an independent third party contractor. Nobody cares who that guy is. They, they the NFL and the Dolphins and the and the they they had to do something. Oh, we'll just fire this guy. That's kind Listen, of funny. We're trying. I wonder if all down the 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 chat groups of that position, whatever it was with that team, is like, oh fuck, am I the fall guy for my team? If this yeah. happens for <laughs> I gotta get a, I, I gotta get a, some kind of a promotion, make sure that, that guy behind me is yeah, the one that's I don't, I don't uh, gonna lose his job no because <laughs> these, these concussions are gonna happen. And I I'm I'm I have to say yes, he can play because the, the amount of money in the, 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 the like a two and two team and a two and two team a loss here and a loss there can can be a lot of money out, out of your uh, out, out of your team's uh, bank account right it can like in that and that's factual oh yeah without a doubt like so it is always one of those things like who who are your, even the people making those decisions as to the health of the of the players like who's stroking their who's signing the checks right who are they answering to like I, I don't know. And, you know, and I, I, I would imagine there's even some pressure from athletes the opposite way, like not so much with the concussions because those are, are obvious, but like with tweaks and arms and shoulders and whatever, like just give me the shot. It's a free agent year. And like I need, I need to, I need to produce, I need to finish uh, so I can sign this fat deal. Right. It, most guys get one, some guys get two contracts and that's it. Uh huh. And but that's it. Yeah. When it's so important I, to you. So if yeah. I can get that second one, then my family's family is set. I'm not padding any stats on the injured reserve. Like I gotta, I gotta play to get paid. Because there's kids playing on Saturday every every year. We talk about this all the time on the 1420 Sports Bar podcast. There's guys playing air right now on Saturdays who could jump in on a Sunday, and they could. Maybe not at that level, but they're not far behind. <laughs> they're next. They're next up, and if and if if a kid is a good wide receiver, because that's all you got to – not good. You, if you're a great wide receiver, you're going to play on Sundays. You are. If you're big and fast and strong, you're going to play on Sundays. If you're a great NFL guy – they showed some stat last week. It was, I think it was Alabama. I can't remember. But the, the amount of Alabama and LSU guys that are playing in the league that were playing in the National Championship game three, four years ago, it's astronomical. So it's if you're, ridiculous. If, yeah. So if you're at one of these schools, just stay healthy – Get that contract, but but you know what? If you're not healthy, someone from that school is going to take your job two years from now. Well, you just think, you know, everybody knows the top ten receivers in the league. What about the top ten? Like, what about the the receivers that are going to see three catches this year, but are on the roster every single game, like for ten snaps a game? Yeah, there's guys out there. It's like, there's oh, there's someone next. It's not as good as you, 
not good as you today, but, but they're you know, serviceable you enough. You right. Bet. And because we talk about this as well, like we talk about how the lack of quarterbacks in the league. So if a guy can stick around for X amount of years, he's going to get paid a lot of money. Red right. rifle. Right. He's still in the league. I didn't even know that. I did not he, know that until I, I saw league. something he's on the Twitter machine. He started he's starting now. Yeah. I didn't know yeah. that until I saw him the other genius. day. He's like, what yeah. the hell's happening here? Why? How's that guy still in the league? And because, you know, he had a couple of seasons with the, with the Bengals and uh, now he's, starting because Winston's like it it goes on and on like the the Tua thing it's it's unfortunate I think like it's obviously he's not going to listen to this or anybody in his circle is not going to listen to this but man he's got to get some advice from some higher ups because it, this could be not good and you start dealing with with the spinal cord and head injuries and that kind of stuff before you know it man you're you're an old man really young well and the next one might be the last one right like it like I've from the little I do know about this, um, if you've had multiple concussions, you become more prone. It's easier to get your next one. Oh yeah, uh, yeah I'll flick to the head and she's over. Yeah, so like, and that's what the like, way with Tua, like the next one might be your last one, and and I'm sure he's getting advice from somebody somewhere, and we'll see what happens. But it's not my life. I I wish him health as far as it goes forward, but. He has some. He has some uh, soul searching to do of 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 how he sees his the rest of his life playing out. You know, I asked that question, uh, or asked. I told you the story about the uh, the guy who said, "If it was your son, would you let him play in that situation?" I'm going to ask you, Dave. Would you let your son play football? Jasper's not playing football. I asked him if he wanted to. Mm -hmm. He said, "Not really," and I said, "Okay," and that was good. So, but I I didn't. I don't want him playing football. Why? Because it's because it's fun until it's not. Like at this age, and I don't think there's anyone there that can hurt him. Like, well, hurt him, yes, but like you know, lay that lethal heat. They're the hit because they're just a little too small. They're kids. But there's gonna come a time if he falls in love with that sport, where someone bigger, stronger, faster, going fast turbo lights him up because he can, right? Like, and I don't want that to happen. Now, a predatory hit. They happen on football fields all the time. And that's my next point then, is that why is it okay for someone else's kid to entertain you on the National Football League stage when he's in graver danger? Well, I, I like, I, I've made the choice for my son. You know what These I mean? want to do it. Oh, no, I completely do. And then I, I obviously understand the... Like, I'm being a bit of a dickhead. I've asked oh, no, that, no, but no, it's, it's, it's just... more content, obviously, right? I, I struggle with that. I, when I say struggle, I've thought about that decision. And I'm and I, and I it's not my bag. And I would never have my son play it at that highest level because, like, you're, you're, one, you're one hit away. You're one hit away. I mean, especially with what we know now about brain, like they've had the protocols in the league now for 12 years, I think it is what I heard, I heard today. And it's better than it was, but it's still not good. And it's when I still... say when I say one hit away, I don't mean at the NHL level, uh, sorry, at the NFL level. I mean, you got to take a couple hundred thousand hits to get to the NFL. Right against yeah. people hitting harder every well, and like you can that 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 hit away it could happen in grade twelve. It can happen in your your junior year of college. It can happen at training camp. It it just it can happen. I mean, you like even like it it just can happen, and it has happened. Yeah, it's 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 so like you. I don't know. Like I'm a more of a baseball guy. Yeah, you get. You get hit hit with a baseball. But that's only going to happen once or twice. Umpires get it more, and catchers get it a lot too. But um, man, it, it's it's such a you will never understand. And I guess there's there's no real right answer for for whose fault is it for what what happens to these guys because I think it's it's a group effort. Whose fault it is? You can go from the the way the the sport is. It's the it's it's a violent sport. You can't really change it, or else it's flag football. You can't blame the players because they want to get paid and they, they're alpha males, like I said, and you can't blame the coaches because they're doing their job. So it's a group effort. And I like it's and yeah, yeah, you can say the insurance guys, but at the end of the day, it comes down to the almighty dollar. Right. And it's, uh, it, it's not going to change in, in our lifetime. I mean, it's the getting way, better, but it's, 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 it's not good. I think the easiest way to, to address the problem 
on the field um, would be to widen the field by five yards. The, the the game, the parameters for this game was not meant for for men flying around the field at this speed. Could okay, I've I've thought this to myself as well. Could they just go? Because I I always thought that the the CFL game is actually kind of entertaining, but with three downs, it's kind of hokey. But because they have a bigger field and these guys are fast and big, if they went to a CFL size width, would that not be a, a, a way? Because they did it in hockey, they made the the rink bigger because these guys were just bigger, faster, stronger. They did it in hockey. Why not do it in football? Because because we because we still want to. Well, that's not an answer. It's yeah. It's could you I try think, it? I think the like the CFL I think is too big, right? It, it's, I still like the tighter end zones and stuff like that. And it, yeah, don't go the end zone bit big, but go, yeah. go the field big, wider. Yeah, I think I think that, I think an extra five yards of a thing would would really help. It would just. There's just more room, so there's less collisions. Like the difference between Olympic hockey ice and NHL hockey ice is massive. It's immense. Yeah. And like you mentioned, they made it a little bit longer for more room behind the net. I think hockey should even still make it just a little bit wider, not Olympic wide, but wider, I think, widening the court in, in NFL because the people, the the the, the men that, that crafted these rules they couldn't round the corner like these guys can now. Well, and they that's the thing. And can. the thing with most of these stadiums are, are massive anyways. They wouldn't have to revamp them a whole bunch because there's a ton of room on the sidelines already. Mm -hmm. So if you're only going three yards either side, it's it, it's only it's 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 how much how much space do you need? Correct. You're not taking away the, seats. You're not taking it, away yeah. seats. You're, you're so, so right. it's not even a financial thing. You're you're not taking away seats at all. In fact, you're you're putting the action a little bit closer to the stands. So I I don't see a reason why they couldn't do that. You know, and ad adapt maybe adapt some new rules that that would be be for player safety a little bit. Try a, a CFL. I, not, not CFL is a whole different beast, but maybe I'm sure that the, there's people th that, that think this as well to wait it for player safety because the people are, people are going to watch regardless. Most people don't know the rules enough because there's football's a there's a lot of rules. A lot of most people don't have a clue what the rules are, anyways. <laughs> so if you're just changing the odd thing here and there, people are, aren't going to know a, a difference at all. Oh no, I completely agree. Widening the field a little bit, just like it would, it would look a little funny the first couple of times, but that's it. And I think that would just reduce the number of collisions by a ton, like not a ton, but it would significantly just more room out there now. No, I think it's a it's one way of doing it. I mean, it's it's, it's a thought, anyways. The 1420 Sports Bar Podcast, four beer sports, talking a whole lot more. Brought to you by Manscaped and Manscaped.com. Use promo code 1420SCAPED 